Hello everyone, my name is Saf, you're watching Rayon Tech TV and today in this session we'll be learning dashboard design with respect to nested interfaces or the nested widgets and nested layouts in Appian. So this is a rough uh, blueprint of what I have in my mind and the outer uh, box denotes the parent home page or the interface where the inner boxes denotes the division of the sections of the home page or the dashboard which I want to create. Now it is up to my own choice that what will be the contents of these boxes. Boxes means these are like invisible division of the interface screen or the view, viewport which will be helpful for us to determine that which component that we can keep here. So this is a rough draft that I have in my mind and we can just prepare the design out of it. So I directly started with a basic interface where we have a header content layout and inside that we have a section layout which is a like it's a dummy code basically we have a section layout and inside that we are having a text field so considering my blueprint that I have I need three major sections and for each section there would be separate divisions of the column layout or side by side layout whatever the layout will be we will have a look later but let's start with the division of section layouts first. So as we can see, you see we need one, two and three section layouts. So let's drag and drop them. Now it depends on your personal choice. Uh, do you like to drag and drop or do you like to code from scratch? So I like blended implementation. So I'm dropping the sections and I will be configuring them later in my code or whatever I like just to save my time. Because it is low code, you just have to save your time and produce efficient code. You, you need not to uh, follow any kind of uh, set theoretical approach. The end goal has to be efficient applications with less development time. So as I think that this dummy code is not at all required now, so we can remove this one. Now we have three sections. Inside these sections, we have to drop Let's rename them first so that we can easily understand them. This is the section one and this is the section two. And this would be probably section three. So as we can see, one, two, three, three sections are done. Inside these sections, we have to put the column. So let's start with the bottom most. So by default, let's choose a narrow desktop as a preview. So by default, uh, the columns layout here is having the equal width and the individual columns are three. So right now in the last section, I don't want three, I want two. So I have my two columns layout and we have two separate columns inside the layout. The main second section is mainly made for grid so i'm not touching that right now and the first section is divided into like this part is quite narrow and the other part is equal so let's see how we can take that up we can drop a section uh, we can drop a column layout and we can do the custom width here so let's go to the child column layout and put set fixed width here we can put medium and here we can put set fixed width and here we can put medium or like instead of this what we can do we can put relative so it will be like twice here it will also be relative twice and the balance will behave accordingly so what we expected uh, right now it will not be visible because it is just a container the moment you put an elements then you will be able to see the difference so what we expected is finally achieved here when it comes to the layouting so First one is having considerably bigger uh, area, second one bigger area, and the third one is something that we need the smaller one. Quite right on the track. Now, 
we have to put some data so my expectation here is that in the second section layout I want a grid in the third layout I want some charts so let me drag and drop some chart data so this uh, video is intended for beginner Appian developers so that they can learn UI design and how we can drag and drop and we can configure and I would be uploading more videos for the advanced UX design where we would be having some more re like meaningful data and we can derive more everything more things from expression mode rather than design mode so right now I'm beginning up with some basics so that as a new learner in Appian you will feel more motivated to do things by yourself so let's take up a bar chart here let's take up a column chart or let's take up a area chart second and in the third one let me see how it goes if we put side by side layout there as a child so now we have the side by side layout inside the side by side layout let's put a gorge and let's put another gorge below it so we can duplicate but I think in side by side layout it will be one beside each other so I don't want that so let me drop the side by side layout and let's drop two gorges one below each other so that makes more sense and if you preview it you can see that that's how our dashboard is looking like I know the data is default Appian data we can customize it but right now I am more focusing on how you can learn creating in the interface by dragging and dropping and nesting the layouts and the components next we have grid so we can put up a read only grid obviously it will ask us some data from where it is coming and everything so let me put a random record type because we are having VOF customers table so let me put VOF customer and it will populate the VOF customer record data so that's why it's taking some time and now we are having record data but it requires a lot of configuration because it is by default coming with the data and now we have to put up some layout stuff so let me remove the label label position hidden visibility always show styling spacing dense height medium height can be short plus also yeah that makes more sense because if if the if, if the user who wants to view the grid can scroll down and get the data medium plus is uh, quite lengthy for a dashboard because we are having the charts as well so let's take it medium as of now then we have border as light shade alternate rows let's not go till selection and validations and this is fine for us now in section 3 I had planned for some uh, more charts or like event history so on the left side we are having the components uh, beside that we are having another section of event history and like basically these are patterns patterns is nothing but a combination of code that is uh, producing some functionality just like we are having uh, web development components and uh, you can include the libraries to include those components in react.js there are already built up components and if you just want to use them in your web development uh, 
project then you can uh, use them and import them in your library as a library same thing goes with appian patterns appian patterns are just like code snippets that will help you to speed up your development process because you are using them generically but for your own use case you are modifying them so directly or indirectly it will be really helpful for you because it will save your time rather than writing the code from scratch it will be helping you to speed up the development so i'm just looking out for event history or like let's search event timeline yeah this work this one works fine but this is too lengthy okay let's see how it goes event timeline does not works well for this one comments lightweight okay i did a mistake one sec comments lightweight yeah this one still looks better now we are having some comments on the dashboard like what are the updated notes and everything and on the right side what i would expect is see we are having the visualization on the top so mm -mm -mm, let me think something we are having various kpis so let's put up some kpis here so these kpis will help us understand how the dashboard will look upon i think this one looks better let's see how it goes in preview mode It solves the purpose and that's how it is. Although the dashboard needs some customization because the default widget size is quite large. So we can reduce that. How we can do that, let me show you. Just go back to edit section. Click on bar chart. You will have the configuration although we can do it in expression mode also but i am showing you a simpler way instead of label position we don't need the label position stacking none height short rest everything is fine Now same thing goes with area chart, label position, none, stacking normal, height, short. Now if we compare this case, uh, we need not to have the second gauge. So we can delete this one and we can reduce the size of the gauge as small one. So the size of the gauge is small now. I think the small is too small for matching the layout. So I'm putting up medium. Yeah, medium works fine in this case. Now we are having the read only grid. We have to take care of the read only grid when it comes to the data part. Spacing dense. Okay, let's keep it as it is not to disturb this one. Oh, the third one is uh, again it is coming with some static data if you go back to the code and if you see the code that we started with very less code and when once we dragged and dropped the widgets it became more in more in terms of code and there are some local variables that came populated along with the respective widgets that we dropped so this is nothing but by default feature of drag and drop that is provided by Appian as a platform 
you can drag and drop the widgets and the respective locals will be dropped accordingly. So the moment we see the bar chart, we, we can see that this is the bar chart code. Here we can see this is the area chart code. Here you can see this is gauge. The moment we go to the section layout 2, here we can see there is a grid field, which is nothing but the read-only grid. And in the section layout 3, that is section 3, the page is divided into two columns. The first one is columns layout 1 and the column layout 2. The column layout 1 says that inside the contents of the column layout 1, we are having some locals and we are having the rich text display field and with respect to that, we are having the entire component as comments. In the column layout 2, second column layout, we are having the local variables, right? that are nothing but KPIs. So this is how we can make a lengthy code broken into smaller, uh, like we can understand holistically how the lengthy code is divided into different sections of the screen. On a high level, it is making a dashboard so that the intended user can see the visualization data and take action upon it. So this is how it can be done. Later on in these, uh, you know, if, if you want to move ahead with the section, what you can do, you can uh, go back here. You can change the, instead of uh, section one, section two and section three, you can remove the names of the sections. Now, I'm removing the name of the section and you can, I can put the divider above content and I can put the divider line here so that the sections look more clean. In the top section one, let me remove the name and as it is starting from the top i don't need any kind of line here for section 3 i need to remove the name and i need a divider line above content and the divider line weight will be medium rest everything is fine Let's save and see the preview one more time. So as you can see, our preview is ready where we can get an idea of how the grid and the comments and everything is visible with respect to the widgets. Using this interface, we can create a site or we can create a portal in the further steps of this UI design. So let me know in the comment section that do you want more dynamic data or do you want more meaningful data with respect to this dashboard or do you want more such classes of UI design? If you really like my explanation, do give a thumbs up and I'm a regular contributor in low code community. So Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions or doubts in the comment section and I'll see you later. Thank you.